sure you like another video. Got another Warriors review. And this time it's Winds of Change. And then after, I'm probably gonna finish Start Late today. And then, basically, I'm gonna finish the new Prophecy arc. Hopefully, today or tomorrow. Or maybe Saturday, I'm not sure. Um, but I am gonna finish it. And then review it. Even if I have all the books pre recorded, I'm gonna wait to upload them and then stream my new prophecies opinion. Um, um, and I will be probably maybe pre recording some Power 3 things. I'm not 100% sure what I'll be doing for that. I just know that I most likely will be doing it. Now, um, this is in, this happens straight after dawn, um, it's in concurrence with Starlight, so this happens the same time as Starlight goes on, because we see the battle in Starlight, um, so I probably should have finished Starlight and then do it and do double review, but there's no plan in that. Um, it obviously starts off with what we see in Dawn, how Mudclaw is talking, giving commands, one whisker speaking out about it, um, in Dawn, and then it cuts to Tallstar dying, um, after the Sundrown cats, um, decide to, you know, um, they get told of Misty, Misty Foot to go look for suitable camps for each five, for each four clans, um, Everybody continues on. Mudclaw is told that he wouldn't become the new deputy. I mean, the new leader. He's not Mudstar. It's actually One Whisker, which stays One Whisker for the entirety of the book. Um, Hawk Frost deceives Mudclaw in forming a coup against One Whisker, and we really just to see him talking shit about the Fire Star and forming the coup. Um, and then eventually it leads to the battle. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously Star Clan kills him to show that One Whisker is the rightful leader of Wind Clan, and then he goes to Star Clan, Tall Star tells him why he made One Whisker his leader. Um, and then it just switches. It's done. It's o it's over. Mudclaw gives one whisker one of his nine lives, and that's it. Now, see you guys for my start. Bye.